Hello, good evening. I'm here with Shidosh Tiago and Sensei Luis Nogueira at Valencia, Spain, in the Hongbu Dojo in Europe. And now we are studying Sumi. Uh, Sumi is an uh, art uh, from Japan uh, that centers the, the way of painting with the brush, with ink. Sumi in Japanese means ink, ie in general means art. Uh, therefore, we are gonna uh, start with a theme uh, named Take, uh, bamboo in Japanese. And it's one of the first things that we study in classical painting uh, from all four uh, gentlemen classic studying in Japanese art. Okay, uh, here we're gonna use the brush in Sokuhitsu. The, and we are going to draw here to paint two nice take. Remember the technique? I'll show you again. We're gonna leave the, the brush this way, starting outside of the paper, okay? We can use a weight or a hand. And then use an upward direction and stop. When we stop, uh, we'll see how the brush will shape the contour of the form of a take. And then we go again making different links of the same form. Make a stop, up, no, up, and then make a white space in between and pressure and up. Very well. Here we are going to do the same, but not in the same uh, level that we made uh, this take. We're going to make the pressure in a different perspective, in a different uh, direction, okay? So we begin pressure and stop here. You can go slow. It's not necessarily uh, a form of being very fast. We make another pressure here and go, and go, very well. Luis-san is going to draw the knots here. Mm -hmm. He's going to use a small brush and he's going to use in the chokuhitsu, in, in a direct form of painting. And here we have uh, the take form completed. Now we will need to draw the branches going outward from the inner part of the take, going in a upward direction also, because take uh, are rigid but flexible at the same time. You can make it smaller ones, not going up, I'll show you. Yes. We can make little branches going in different direction, crossing also. But these are very strong, so we will need to draw other branches, also going in different directions. We will need also uh, to complete not everything with uh, leaves or bamboo leaves because it will make a very heavy composition here. We will make a, we will take a two leaf composition mm -hmm. and starting one side going in the same direction of the branches to give a more natural feeling. Mm -hmm. uh, because if we take a, a wrong direction from the growth of the bamboo, mm -hmm. it will look uh, upward, it will not, won't look natural. So we'll try to look the same, following the direction of the lines we have made all right here and here. Mm -hmm. We can take a small brush if you want. And we go one and two. Remember not to be in the same uh, mm -hmm. spot. Always looking in uh, different angles here, mm -hmm. not crossing 
not make, try not to make, make excess. Mm -hmm. The way to draw a leaf, I'll show you. Could you show me, uh, let me the brush oh, a little? Please. Will be this way. Always making a straight line. We will use a Chokuhitsu brush stroke and we will go down and cross here, the little details, mm -hmm. to make a more natural feeling because leaves always cross elements here. We're crossing, mm -hmm. but not in the middle area because we will make a, an X and it doesn't look natural. We can draw here and here. When the branches are going up, the bamboo also tends to go the same direction. But depending if they are facing to us, we will make a composition that the leaf is coming towards us. So we'll do this perspective. One, two, three. One. In this step, it's very important not to center the whole branch with whole leaves. We'll need to make different uh, compositions. Mm -hmm. This could be, for example, uh, the bigger one, and yeah. we can make a little weight here in the top area. So we will let the eye to go to one spot to the other, not only staring in this area, but flowing around the composition. Mm -hmm. So we will need to put more details here, mm -hmm. more leaves. Here. Okay. Try to make straight ones uh, and bigger ones. Mm -hmm. Bigger ones? Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Remember to follow the direction of the branch. Mm -hmm. Remember bigger ones. Mm -hmm. <coughs> very important to cross and to go. We also can complete with more details and draw afterwards other branches to let us follow the area. But it's not necessary to complete, just to give them a little detail behind the leaves so it can support the composition. And here also. Uh, and how could we improve this composition? Oh, there's uh, plenty of ways. Uh, we can complete with insects, birds, and other details, depending if the composition uh, permits. Uh, we, if we have more space, you know, we can integrate the take with uh, rocks, with a landscape, mm -hmm. with orchids. Mm -hmm. In this case, uh, because the bamboo is in the center almost, uh, the leaves are here, uh, it takes a very important uh, view no, of the bamboo. So we can try to, uh, to get involved in this universe with little things, mm -hmm. like insects or birds. Okay. Uh, here, uh, in this area, could be interesting to use uh, an animal on other elements here. Mm -hmm. not, not to try to go to things where the space is full, is in a junk uh, com composition. Try to look always emptiness area, empty areas that we can uh, integrate elements, put that integrates also with the white space. Not try to complete and to put ink in the whole paper. Mm -hmm. In this case, we can start uh, with black ink in the, in the tip of the brush, and we can draw the little details of uh, upper. In this case, the beak, the eye, 
for example, mm -hmm. and then try to complete with the whole feather composition of the body of the bird. In this case, we can draw a bird looking in a direction that will follow the roundness of this composition because it's almost like a circle. So it would be nice if the animal is trying to help to flow around. So we could let it big here in this area and draw the eye. We can draw here, for example, the details with black ink, if it is possible. And here we can complete, like if he's trying to eat an insect, we can follow here. It's a little branch of bamboo. And draw a little insect, for example. Just to give it an idea. We were just playing. And here we will draw the insect here. Thank you very much for the class. Thank you very much for the instruction.